Hood late morning. XRP Future Millionaire. It's 10.52 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday, August 30th, 2022. As we can see, XRP has quickly reversed back down. I'm appalled that I am not in this right now, but I did get busy because of Julie's therapy. But I am very, very happy that once again, my lines are playing out as they should. 33.26 once again. As I said before, it would behoove me that it wouldn't come back up into this area after about 14 short-term rejections on the support line before it finally fell through. I felt like we'd have to come back up and at minimum reject there. Now, we also have to make sure that we get past this area. Otherwise, right now where it's at, this is nothing more than a back test. We've got a break if you're looking 3186. We break 3186, that would be your next opportunity to go short. Right now you're caught in between areas, so you, me, and everyone alike, if you haven't got in the short yet, you're not getting in it right now. Tapish. Real quick though, for Ruby, I have to address a question, and it's a real legitimate question. I know we're hot and heavy into the XRP chart, and we'll get right back to it. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new returning, and we're almost, uh, what are we at, just over 13,000, almost 400. And then share this far and wide as it's the only way to get this content out. But I had a question what the difference is if you're copy or if you're um, trading. So let's initiate a trade. I'm not going to open one yet. But so it's isolated and cross margin. So if you're on cross margin, the biggest difference is so if you have $1,000 in your futures account, let's say, you bet 50 bucks. Well, in cross margin, it'll use all $1,000 even past your liquidation price and just continue to extend your liquidation price. There is no liquidation price that is far enough to keep you from being fully liquidated as long as you're on a 2x or higher. Just remember that. Because the market goes down not even 50% and you're liquidated. And then it continues to go down from there. You know, if it goes on cross margin. Because then it's going to continue to use anything even over the 100%. So then you can get into the, holy crap, I just lost 1,000% when I was only intending on 100%. Which would have been 10% of your portfolio. And instead of using 100, it used 1,000. On isolated margin... If you have $1,000 in your futures account, same. But you've got $100, the maximum loss is $100. There's no, you're losing this for that or whatever. I had a couple hundred dollars in my futures account. Now it's at $1,318. That's why I use USDT. So, but I also use USD for the other questions. USD I use for the ones who don't like to use USDT. So I adapted. And XRP's on USD, and I built this. I had like 50 or 60 bucks initially, and now it's at 217. And I still only use 50 bucks on USD. And then on the other one, I'll use 120 now because of how high it's built up. So that's what I do. I think that was the only question. Cross in uh, future. Hold. Sorry, I just wanted to address what Ruby said. So it was the address between cross and isolated margin. Um, and then for the long and shorts, okay, that's what I thought. So I just wanted to make sure I see what I'm seeing. So, and then when you go long and short, so on the top, so buy long. So if you're buying long, that means if XRP's at where it's at right now, you think it's going to go up from here. If you're going short, if you're selling short, that means you're banking on the fact it's going down. So when you sell a short, you're always selling it in hopes that somebody's going to buy it at a lower price if you're playing the traditional stock market. But in this case, we're literally just selling short, which means you're banking on it going down. The top right, that's your leverage. So depending on if you're KYC or whatever, I'm not KYC approved, so I can only trade, I believe, with XRP, it's 20, 25X. But with like Ethereum and Bitcoin... If that's not enough margin for you and you don't want to do KYC, you can always trade. And I found um, Ethereum to be one of the better ones with how much they let you use. See, I can go up to 50X with Ethereum, no problem. Yeah, 50X. So that's the same thing with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin and Ethereum will give you 50X. Some other ones will give you 30X, but that's the main uh, concerns that I had to address. If you want to join me on BitGuide in the video description below, it's so simple to use and no KYC. And also, another elephant in the room that I have to address, if you buy XRP, you don't need KYC, and this is in the spot trading. As you can see, I have $1,517 in spot trading. 
And then you can also buy it on USDT if you if that's how you prefer. And I have like 479, and these are the spot trading. So I got money everywhere on BitGet. But if you buy XRP and USDT and XRP and USD, you don't have to convert it into either or. When you send XRP, this is another distinction I always hear people make, and it's not true. If you have XRP on a site and XRP and USDT and USD, you can send it all at the same time. It's all your XRP and wherever you send it, where the ripple is, it, the one that's in USD won't be in USD and DT anymore, I mean. It'll go to the native, whatever it is on the other exchange. So if you have a USD wallet, it all gets converted in the USD wallet. That's what happens to me when I send it to Uphold. If I have 2,000 USDT XRP, and 2,000 XRP and USD. So I have USDT and USD. So I have Tether in the US dollar. When it gets to Uphold, it's automatically converted into the US dollar because that's what Uphold uses, the wallet that I have. And I do it all the time. So I hear people say, now I gotta sell my XRP if I have it in Tether. No, why? It does it for you when you send it to your other wallet. Because when it sends off of your other exchange, it's just sending XRP. It doesn't know if it's XRP related to Tether or related to fucking whatever. It's just your XRP and spot. It doesn't give a shit. It's going to own XRP. It's just that if you own it in Tether, you have to be aware that the pricing is different. And if it gets too far apart, you're fucked. So let's get back to the chart. So sometimes, you know, I got to address the questions. So right now we're looking, and if, if it's me, we've missed the opportunity to go short from up here, if you haven't got in yet. But now we're looking for a rejection on the ultimate five and a half year trend line. And I'll continue to go back to this and say, not everybody's gonna use this exact spot. I'm gonna show you why, because I've used both. But I also was smart enough to come down here and understand the most important trend line that would develop here. And it's right here. It happened April 17th, 2017. On the weekly, we had such a big pullback down to the uptrend, and it held. That's the first true hold. And then let's not act like we didn't have a big drop. This thing dropped. I mean, it was free falling, and it dropped 61.61%, .61 and it held. So to me, that gave it credibility that, hey, it, could, it was we were going parabolically down. It was a historical drop from where it was at. And it would have made perfect sense to come down to the uptrend, you know, but it held. It finally held. And now, look how it's held all the way down the line. Bam. Took three years, but it finally held March 9, 2020 again. Didn't even need it here, but it got scared by it. Here, it hit it again June of this year. It hit it again July of this year. Hit it three more times in July and August of this year. Eventually, it's going to bust through and this bearish continuation is going to play out. And then all of a sudden, we're going to find ourselves having to play out this bear flag. And this is what I continue to say. And I'll continue to stand by it while we can't possibly be at the bottom. Unless this uptrend somehow held. And the problem is, is even if it did... You can come all the way back up here to about 73 cents and that would be completely normal. It's still within the pattern and everybody would lose their shit, you know, and they would fluff each other and all these other YouTube channels would go nuts and say, we hit the bottom. And I'd just be like, you dumb motherfucking idiots. If you would just do this properly, you could see what's going on. And in fact, you could even go up higher in a parabolic spike that traps everybody. That's why I keep saying, if this uptrend holds, we would have to buy it on the way back up because not only this, you take the risk of it coming all the way up here. And I don't know about you, but even if this pattern has to play true, I would much rather go long and buy it all the way up to $1.50, whatever, and then worry about selling it again because then we could have a similar event that we had last time. And are you guys going to be mad if I lead you from 3500 to sixteen grand, and then we have to sell it and wait for the bottom again? I think not. So we're going to play the market how we're supposed to, and we're still at $0.31. Cents. Or 32 cents. I just really, really in my heart, in my gut, in my soul. It's not even that I want this. And let me line that up directly. Um, because it was I tried to straighten it out. Um, that's what happens on that bear flag if we drop down. Look at that. Remember, I've been talking about 11 cent targets since we're at a dollar sixty-six or a dollar ninety. Everybody thought I was nuts. Well, literally, 
this right shoulder on this head and shoulders pattern and this topping reversal, whatever you want to call it, that bear flag leads you right down to 1104. So that target I've had on there forever is literally getting hit almost directly if we put it in this part of the pattern and this were to plate down and this bear flag plays out. This would be the single greatest call in the history of crypto if this plays out. Not just this, I've called the entire market DXY and I would really appreciate your support. I don't want to turn into Alex Jones and say, come on now and buy these products. Buy my shirt, buy my hat, buy my mugs. Keep me on the air. We're really going to go down here in the fight against the... You know, I don't want to have to go into that mode. But it might make some entertaining... Uh, some entertaining updates if I come on and say, ladies and gentlemen, I need your help. The power is above us. They're about to shut the power off and the lights are going to go off. For $9.99 a month, you need to join Tom's Army to make sure we keep the lights on and we can go another month. Without your support, there is no way I can give these charts out. We're just days away from getting the internet cut off around here. But you, and you alone, you can continue to keep the internet on so I can continue to put these updates out. You simply have to join Tom's Army for $9.99 a month. With your support today, it'll assure that we can continue to fight the establishment. XRP Future Millionaire, hit that like button.